from artificial immune systems to hypersonic aircraft. These are the craziest DARPA military projects. First off, what is DARPA? DARPA stands for the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. And yes, it really is as cool as it sounds. It is the US Department of Defense Agency responsible for improving national security through technology. DARPA has six offices, each with its own director and purpose. Nearly all of the people in leadership positions hold doctorates in philosophy and science. Without a doubt, this agency is home to some of the most brilliant minds on the planet. In 1957, the United States and the Soviet Union were in the thick of the space race, a series of one-upping each other between the two countries to see who can make it to space first. The Soviets won. They launched the first satellite in space ever, the Sputnik, and the whole world was shocked. The most shocked, however, was the United States. Lyndon B. Johnson was president at the time. He famously commented on the profound shock of realizing that it might be possible for another nation to achieve technological superiority over this great country of ours. Clearly, the government took it pretty hard. But what came out of it was the beginning of DARPA. Literally, it was officially established only four months after the Sputnik was launched into space. In a sense, the US vowed to never again be second in technological advances. DARPA's whole purpose was to be the first to create the most advanced technology on the planet, even if it meant surpassing the country's needs. DARPA exists to keep the USA in first place. Number 8. Mind's Eye Mind's Eye is a massive research project conducted by DARPA. It seeks to give machines a way to see, think, and make decisions just like humans do. Before Mind's Eye was launched, the technology to give computer systems visual capabilities had already been invented. They could do that with a simple camera and video feeds. However, a simple camera couldn't replace the soldiers, sailors, marines, and airmen operating them. That's what makes this project unique. Mind's Eye would function so close to a human brain brain that it could do the work all by itself. It wouldn't need a human operating it. The ability to reason is something only humans have been able to do until now, and possibly in the future. I don't know how far along this project is. Mind's Eye hopes to give capabilities like reasoning, decision making, and common sense to a freaking camera. Since its launch, DARPA has recruited 12 research teams, mostly universities, to pursue the technology needed for this research. With Mind's Eye, people would no longer have to perform ground surveillance. A camera with Mind's Eye technology could be planted in the thick of conflict and feed information back to its operators. Mastering this kind of visual intelligence for machines would be groundbreaking, which is exactly DARPA's goal. Although it would provide more security for troops, it is difficult to say whether a machine could ever fully replace a human. The human brain is capable of so much. Will technology ever be able to match basic human things like that? What do you think? Number 7. Falcon DARPA's Falcon project is the mothership of a bunch of other little projects. Falcon, which means force application and launch from the continental United States, is one of these little projects that started in 2003. DARPA's overall Falcon project is about speed, and not speed like your uncle's Honda or jet skis. When it began in 1957, the Falcon project aimed to apply supersonic, even hypersonic speed to an aircraft. Supersonic speed breaks the sound barrier. Hypersonic speed is multiple levels above that. The ultimate goal, though, was to fly anywhere in the world in just one hour. The Falcon project is officially under DARPA and the US Air Force oversight. In 2002, the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory in California developed a concept called Hypersoar. Hypersoar, if successfully built, would be a passenger aircraft with jet fuel. It would leave the Earth's atmosphere during a flight and be able to take people anywhere in the world in under two hours. DARPA heard about this and had to jump right in. After acquiring the research in 2003, DARPA fused it with their current project, USAF X-41, Common Aero Vehicle. That was all in 2004. Fast forward to 2014, and Falcon has developed four more sub-projects under its name, although only one of them was still active by then. 
the hypersonic technology vehicle 2, otherwise known as HTV-2, was researched, tested, and put into flight all throughout the summer of 2014. In 2019, DARPA has switched its focus to other projects, and Falcon is no longer one of its main priorities. Or so they say. Number 6. VLSI stands for Very Large Scale Integration and has everything to do with computer science in the 70s. It was a research project dedicated to advancing the microprocessor, which is basically the heart of any normal computer. Several important computer advances came out of the VLSI project, and it is revered as the most influential research project in the history of computers. The VLSI project was kickstarted by the California Institute of Technology's professor Carver Mead and computer programmer Lynn Conway. DARPA was involved because they funded Mead's and Conway's research. DARPA provided funding for several universities to research and develop a more advanced version of a computer processor. Their goal was to make a supercomputer's capabilities fit into any general computer, so Mead and Conway used VLSI to fund other universities to create the equipment they needed. This decision was a catalyst for computer programming to take off. Each university involved kept developing new and improved concepts. In turn, it had a ripple effect on the computer world and ultimately led to companies that are still active today, like Sun Microsystems. Number 5. ARPANET ARPANET, or the ARPA network, was the precursor to the internet that we all know today. Ideas and research on a worldwide computer network started in the 60s. Back then, communicating with people across the country was still possible. It was just complicated and tedious. For example, if someone was talking to two people at once over the computer network, but they were in two geographically different locations, two machines would have to be used. ARPANET sought to make communications to several locations possible on one machine. Bob Taylor, who is known as a pioneer that paved the way for the internet, came to DARPA first. He convinced the director to give him a budget so that he can develop the ARPANET. It took two years for Taylor to solidify a plan and get it signed off by the director. For some reason, ARPANET had a very few number of supporters, but by 1969, a seven-person team got to work on building the internet. Number 4. Boeing X-45 in 1999, DARPA and the US Air Force partnered with Boeing, the aerospace company, to create the first unmanned combat aircraft. The aircraft was called the X-45 and its intended use was combat. The fact that it was unmanned means heightened security for pilots and more accurate targeting. The first flight of the X-45 was in 2002 and it was a tremendous success. A year later, DARPA funded a project to modify the first model of the X-45. Their main goal was to go bigger and better, if possible. Also, the Navy wanted in on the action at this point. Two more models and 64 flights later, the X-45s were put on display at two national airspace museums. However, there is still an undeveloped version out there called the Phantom Ray. Number 3. l Razum. l Razum stands for Long Range Anti-Ship Missiles. It is a missile that's shot from far away and is specifically tuned to seek out warships. This weapon is so important, it has its very own department in DARPA, the Long Range Missile Deployment Office. Both the Air Force and the Navy facilitated in creating this weapon. This program began in 2013, and it was implemented in combat the next year. The catalyst that began this project was a lack of GPS or satellites overseas. It was a security precaution to have systems on land that could take out a warship. This missile obviously has the capability to determine which ship is the enemy, and there's no way to tell it's coming either. Number 2. The FX Program DARPA's FOLD FX program funds a biology project focused on building a strong artificial immune system. This project stems from DARPA's concern regarding how many chemicals US forces are exposed to. While science has evolved quickly, and there are medicines and vaccines for a lot of things, DARPA noticed some gaps. 
Some members of the military and the government are exposed to large amounts of unsafe biological and chemical substances and diseases. The purpose of the Fold FX program is to create a very strong artificial immune system that will show scientists how to better protect the members of the armed forces. The project began in 2014. Later that year, three research teams were awarded million-dollar contracts to begin working on certain sections of the immune system. In 2015, an update was released stating DARPA's new goals with the project. Instead of general chemical and biological threats, the project would hopefully protect the human system from things like the H1N1 virus. DARPA wants to go past human DNA limitations, and this study opened the doors. Number 1. HELADS HELADS stands for High Energy Liquid Laser Area Defense System, which is just as cool as it sounds. The idea behind specialized laser warfare is speed and precision. Lasers travel at the speed of light and have the capability of hitting targets with precision. DARPA's goal is creating lasers that can be installed on aircraft. Of course, the laser will first be installed on a land base, but the goal is to eventually get it on an aircraft. The laser system could potentially be used to shoot down rockets and missiles. The project began in 2004 and it is still being heavily researched today. Which one of these projects did you think was the craziest? Let me know in the comments below. Check out the featured comment below, subscribe for more World on Earth, and I'll see you in the next video.